Hey guys, Sarah here from Recovering Book Order, and it's been a hot minute since I've taped. <laughs> um, had surgery done on my hand um, this past Friday, carpal tunnel surgery, and um, I can't take this off and I can't get it wet until I go back to see the doctor next week. And um, my hair was disgusting. I was disgusting. <laughs> and thanks to my mom, um, my hair is washed and dried and looks pretty and I smell acceptable again. So I'm taping. Today I am starting a new um, a new series on my channel and that's going to be a shelf spotlight series. So um, I'm going to go through I think maybe twice a month, maybe twice a month or maybe once a month, I'm going to choose a shelf um, I'm going to go between my unread bookshelves and my read bookshelves and highlight one of the shelves on there and the books and everything that finds itself on that shelf. So this is going to be the first one. And today we are going to start with this shelf down here. This is my, this is an unread bookshelf. So I just figure we'll go through and have a look, see at uh, what's on here and what books need to be read still. So first, the um, I have a lot of like tchotchke stuff too all over my shelves. So we'll talk about those too. So on this, I've got uh, the Golden Girls. Um, this is a magnet set that needs to be taken out and put onto one of my uh, carts, but haven't gone that far yet. So right now it just sits here and you get to see the pretty pictures. And then I have a Stranger Things special edition Coca-Cola um, here. So it's new Coke. So those live here on the shelf. Um, okay, so we'll start over here. So I kind of call this my entertainment, music, um, humor kind of shelf down here. Um, so let's just start here. So we've got The Butler's Guide to Running the Home and Other Graces by Stanley Ager and Fiona St. Auburn. And this is, um, has to do with Downton Abbey. And I think the forward is by the historical advisor to Downton Abbey. And um, it's just like what, you know, what a butler's responsibilities are in a big house. So that was a gift from my friend Valerie. Then I have, sorry, this is gonna be awkward with one hand, the Goldberg's cookbook. And uh, this is fun. It has all kinds of recipes from Mama Goldberg, and, along with like behind the scenes kind of things and pictures and all that kind of fun stuff. And we've got From Cook to Crook. This is Snoop Dogg's cookbook. And uh, I'm a big, big Snoop fan. And um, yeah, these are a lot of his recipes along with like the stories behind the recipe. And again, pictures and and all that fun stuff. So my daughter brought me Starbucks today also. She does this thing and it like tells you things you should do for the day. One of the things was buy a present for one of your for one of your parents. So she said she's gonna buy me Starbucks as a present. Then she buys it and she gives it to me. She said, okay, so next time are you gonna buy me Starbucks? <laughs> That's not a present if you're telling me that I'm gonna buy you for you next time. But that's how it goes as a parent. Okay. Um, all right, we've got Howard Stern comes again. These are Howard Stern's, what he considers to be his best interviews. And personal opinion, Howard Stern is one of the best interviewers ever. He can get people to talk about anything. And this is also in my five-star predictions for the year. And then I've got three special edition magazines. Got um, special Newsweek edition Pink Floyd, 50 years later. Uh, music Spotlight Special Clickers Edition Pink Floyd. This was the 45th anniversary celebration. 2018. Get, I get around to reading these things real quick. And then the Special Edition People Celebrating the 80s. 1985 edition. This one was more recent purchase. And then we've got, oh my goodness, this is huge. Pink Floyd, all the songs, the story behind every track. John Hughes, A Life in Film, 
The Genius Behind Ferris Bueller, The Breakfast Club, Home Alone, and more. This was a gift when I used to do um, secret, what, what was it called? Amazon. It was a Reddit, Reddit group. I'll link it down below, but it, it's random, random acts of Amazon is I think what it's called. And everybody, um, you link your wish list, and then people just like randomly buy gifts for other people from their wish list. And it was, it was fun. I used to do it all the time. Okay, then I've got Deadhead Forever. This is like a um, scrapbook from a guy who used to follow them around, um, like his scrapbook from when he used to tour with them. And then He Man and She Ra, a complete guide to the classic animated adventures. And I still to this day say that I am mostly a good person because of the lessons that I learned at the end of every She Ra and He Man episode. Love it. I don't love the, the remake. Um, but old school. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Moving on. Let's see. All right. Happy little accidents. The wit and wisdom of Bob Ross. It's a recent from a recent haul. Pink Floyd, the music and the mystery by Andy Mabbitt. Complete guide to their music and quotes. Game of Thrones, Puzzle Quest, Riddles, Enigmas, and Quizzes inspired by the hit TV series and fantasy novels. Unofficial and unauthorized. <laughs> okay, The Schmuck in My Office, How to Deal Effectively with Difficult People at Work by Jody J. Foster with Michelle Joy. Um, got this a really long time ago. Um, a long time ago. But I thought it'd be funny. So. Okay, Louis Anderson. Hey, Mom, stories for my mother, but you can read them too. Big fan of Louie Anderson. Um, his mom, when he does his mom in his stand-up comedy, it reminds me so much of my grandmother. And so we love to watch it and, and just laugh and remember her. Comfortably Numb, The Inside Story of Pink Floyd by Mark Blake. Do you think I like Pink Floyd? Just a little bit. <laughs> They're my favorite. When did I get like this? The screamer, the worrier, the dinosaur chicken nugget buyer, and other mothers swore I I swore I'd never be by Amy Wilson. So hoping hoping that's gonna be a funny one. I can't make this up. Life lessons by Kevin Hart. People I want to punch in the throat. Competitive crafters, drop off despots, and other suburban scourges by Jen Mann. Sick in the Head by Jude Apatow, Conversations About Life and Comedy. Pittsburgh Dad, Everything Your Dad Has Said to You. I'm from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Dad. You gotta love Pittsburgh Dad. If you've never seen him, can I go ahead and link some of his videos down below? Um, this is actually my husband's book, and uh, I've been wanting to read it. So it sits in here until I finish it. And over here, oh my goodness. This was my Mother's Day gift last year. Photography of Game of Thrones by Helen Sloan. And it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. I mean, that show is just a beautiful show. And I'm currently back to being obsessed with Game of Thrones right now. We've got The Wit and Wisdom of Downton Abbey by Jessica Fellows. Long Players, A Love Story in 18 Songs by Peter Coviello. Dark Star, An Oral Biography of Jerry Garcia by Robert Greenfield. Also big Grateful Dead fans in this house. My daughter is named after um, a Grateful Dead song, Cassidy. And I've got a tattoo on my foot, Grateful Dead tattoo on my foot that is also a lyric. The lyric from the song Cassidy. It says, you were born to me. And then Cassidy wrote her name. Um, 
so it's in her own writing it's really cool and then it has the grateful dead flowers going up my ankle and it's pretty uh peter connor's growing up dead the hallucinated confessions of a teenage deadhead and you can see where's my favorite vehicle on the front there my dream vehicle uh, life moves pretty fast. The lessons we learned from 18 movies and why we don't learn from movies anymore by Hadley Freeman. Of Dice and Men, the story of Dungeons and the Dragons and the people who play it by David M. Ewalt. I'm a fan of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I don't really get to play much anymore. Um... We were trying to teach my daughter how to play. My cousin Jason was coming up and, and running a campaign for us, but COVID, COVID hit. So, yeah. Uh, Something Real by Heather Demetrius. And I think this is about reality TV. That's what it is. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, maybe this is actually fiction. And the show is called Baker's Dozen. I'm not sure if this is fiction or nonfiction. Anyway. Okay. Still staying over here. <laughs> All right. Inside Out. Personal History of Pink Floyd by Nick Mason. Showrunners. Um, based on the documentary Showrunners, The Art of Running a TV Show by Tara Bennett. Featuring original interviews with Joss Whedon, Ronald D. Moore, Damon Lindelof, Sean Ryan, Terrence Winter, and many more. Have a slated session with reality TV also. All right, 18 in a Life on Skid Row by Sebastian Bach, lead singer of Skid Row. How Star Wars Conquered the Universe, the Past, Present, and Future of a Multi Billion Dollar Franchise by Chris Taylor. We've got Ooh, the Beatles lyrics, stories behind the music, including the handwritten drafts of more than 100 classic Beatles songs. Just hauled this. Not long ago. And finally, The Life and Times of Call the Midwife, the official companion to seasons one and two. No. I've watched a couple of um from season one, but then I realized that they were like out of order from the books. And I've only read the first book in the Call the Midwife series, and I don't want to spoil anything. So I've stopped watching the show until I read finish the series. Reading the series. Then I'll finish watching the series then I'll read this book but until then it's just gonna hang out here on my shelf so that is my shelf spotlight um I have to put all these books back now with my one hand um but yeah have you guys read any of these uh do you feel like I should prioritize any of these over others I would love to hear your thoughts and yeah all right if you like what you see give me a thumbs up if you want to see more hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next week. Bye.